The Canadian women's soccer team had the biggest moment in its history, defeating Sweden for an Olympic gold medal. They did this alongside Christine Sinclair, their captain, who holds the record for most international goals scored by any football player. Fresh off her gold medal winning performance, she's teamed up with a cause that hits close to home. You said it wasn't going to sink in until you saw your family. Now that you've been home for a bit, how you feeling? Still hasn't sunk in. <laughs> uh, no, uh, obviously being able to see my family and celebrate with them was very important and special. And, you know, it takes a lot more than just myself to, to get to that uh, point. And it was good to be able to celebrate with my family and support system and all the people I love and seeing them. I think my niece has worn the medal more than I have now. So <laughs> I think she's claiming Aww. it. <laughs> In the gold medal game against uh, Sweden, they got on the scoreboard quite early. You're no stranger to the pressure, of course, but for some of those younger players, did you have to sort of reassure them? What was the message at halftime? You know, at half at halftime, there wasn't like panic or anything. This team fights. We scratch, we claw, we we fight and never give up. And we knew that we were going to get our chance. And the second half we came out and we were a different team. Um, we didn't really change much. It was more just like an attitude shift. Canada's the only top 10 ranked country that doesn't have a pro women's soccer league. And oh, it's clear, it's clear that talent pool <laughs> exists. Now, fresh off a gold medal, do you think this will attract enough attention to push a domestic league and bridge that gap in Canadian women's soccer? You know, if it doesn't, then we have a problem because if three Olympic medals, a gold medal doesn't do that, I'm not sure what will. Um, we've hosted a World Cup, it didn't work. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's the thing that needs to happen next. Now let's now, talk about a cause that is near and dear to you. Burgers to beat MS day. Um, why does this cause resonate with you so much? Yeah. So, well, the whole goal of burgers to beat MS day, raise money for the MS society of Canada. So Canadians go buy your team burgers, um, $2 <laughs> from every team burger goes to the MS society of Canada. And it's, a cause that's close to me because uh, my mom was diagnosed with MS when she was pregnant with my brother. So 41 years ago, mm, he's going to kill me for saying that. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I grew up in a household with a parent living with MS and I've seen firsthand uh, how hard that is and the devastation it can cause an individual and a family. And yeah, it got to a point in my career where I want to be able to do more than just kick a soccer ball around. So this cause jumped out to me and uh, yeah, just trying to raise some money for some people that need it. If you'd like to participate in Burgers to Beat MS Day, head to ANW and $2 will be donated from every teen burger purchase. For City News, I'm Sportsnet 650's Lena Satagian.